so first of all, sync button is not cheating. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know in DJ Pro AI. So first of all, the one way that I use sync the most is when you're DJing with the iPad, it may be hard to move the tempo sliders. So if you just press sync once, so look at these two tracks. The track on the left is 29 BPM. The track on the right is 28 BPM. If I was going to mix these together and I didn't feel like fiddling with the tempo slider, which could be hard on the iPad, all you have to do is press sync once. Press sync once and then press it again. Now sync is off, but now you have the exact same BPM on both tracks. Yeah, manual beat matching is cool and you could still manually beat match, but just instead of trying to get the tempo slider to the exact spot, whether you're just on the iPad, whether you're on your phone, or even if you're using a small DJ controller, the easiest way to match the BPMs to the exact amount is just press the sync button once and then turn it off. You're not do using sync for the beat matching. You're not cheating. You're just making it a little bit easier for yourself because why do you have to prove that you can move the tempo slider to the exact location? So that's the main way I use the sync button. I like to manually beat match, but the using it once will just match the BPM. So now let's see how it works if we want to use the actual sync button. So now I have the song on the left is playing. Song on the left is playing. I'm just going to set this back to 128 on the right. Now what I could do is I could press sync once. And as long as sync is highlighted, it is on. So it matched the BPM. And now wherever I start track number two, let's just say I was going to mix it during the drop. Wherever I start track number two, if sync's on, it's going to automatically have the waveforms at the exact same places. So it's using its algorithm to make a 4B sync. So look at it on the left. Now I press it and now it's automatically matching the lines, matching the yellows together. So instead of trying to do it on your own, pressing the button at the right time and adjusting the speed back and forth, which is a good skill to have knowing how to do manual beat matching, if you want to use sync, then it's going to do that for you. So instead of trying to start the song at the exact spot, if you have sync on, it'll automatically do that. And some people say it's cheating, but I don't think so. Now, let me show you something that's interesting. So if the sync is on the right, so sync is on our right deck, and now we are going to have the left deck playing. When we press play on the right deck, it's going to automatically sync them together. But now let's do the song on the right is playing. So the song with sync activated is playing and the song on the left doesn't have sync activated. If we press play, it's not going to be in sync. You have to have the sync highlighted on the song that you want to play for it to be in sync. So that's how the sync works in DJ Pro AI. And now let me just show you the settings that we can adjust. So if we press the middle button here, go down the settings, it's right here in general. It says sync mode. So sync type, BPM and beats, that means that it's gonna it's gonna match the BPM and then it's gonna do what I said and align the beats together the best it can. It's not always perfect. Next is gonna be beat sync interval. You could do it to one beat. I, I tested it out, but I would recommend keeping it where it is at four beats. And then maintain on song load. That means when you load a new song, sync is still gonna be on. And then I usually keep that off and then turn off on pause and scratch or cue jump. That means if you start scratching or if you press pause or cue jump, then sync is gonna be turned off. I found this to be really confusing, so I just kept sync on. So let me know in the comments if you guys use sync, if you think it's cheating. And also, if you learned something from this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.